my name is Alicia Power and I'm a spiritual intuitive and I love to speak clearly to way with the worlds of spirit and I've been uh, communicating as an intuitive hearing the world the worlds of spirit clearly for over 30 years and I've been a energy healer as well for over 30 years. Today, I'd love to pass on a message from my spirit guides to you. That's always my joy. And let's hear and see what they want to say to you today. They're saying that they would love you to realize that not only is this lifetime short, but that you have an opportunity in this lifetime uh, to let go of fear. And Fear shows up in the most subtlest of ways. It, it sort of bubbles up underneath our thinking and constricts our thinking, actually controls our thinking, uh, making us think limited thoughts, making us stay within a limited paradigm about ourselves and about our life. Uh, so fear can be very subtle. Uh, it's that underground platform from many experiences in childhood where we came crashing up against something that hurt us, something that caused us to be afraid. And it really is coming from a lot of the time from those early childhood years. So it's very deep, it's very concrete, deep in our unconscious. And my spirit guides are saying, given that that is a truth, a reality, that it is concreted down into our, in our unconscious and just permeates up like water up through cracks and concrete just permeates up and literally starts controlling our thinking, which none of us want really, do we? Given that, they're saying, it's very, very useful to work with the worlds of spirit who can see deep in your childhood history. I want to quickly explain something that as an energy healer, I'm used to flying in the worlds of spirit and watching spirit healers, spirit beings that are healer beings, go into what I view and see as matrices of energy, matrices of light. And those matrices are our, you could say our auric field, our, our electromagnetic field, our morphogenic field. So that those morphogenic fields that we all have surrounding us and interpenetrating our body are made up of waveforms of light, filaments of light, waveforms of light, sine waves of light, very quantum physics. So these healer spirit beings fly into the other dimensions, into the spirit dimensions, and they see us as a spirit being, as a globe or as a force field of light. They see us in that way and they fly into it, zooming in and taking a look at all the different levels of matrices that make up our auric field or our electromagnetic field and they are zeroing in on occlusions or rips or tears or gnarled tangled wiring rusted wiring whatever you'd like to say but they're honing in on where uh, we have had a moment that made us afraid usually in childhood what they do and what i watch them do is go in and with incredible care and with expertise unravel that tangled wiring, heal the rusted uh, wiring, if you could say, and then replace it with fresh light. That's a healed version of that little patch. So they pull out the, the, uh, the injury, you could say, and replace it with fresh new light. How does that change us? Interestingly, what I've noticed over those 30 years in myself whenever I do it, which I work with every day or with somebody else uh, that I'm working on, that their thinking changes. It's literally like they've pulled out some software that was sitting there and that software is not running anymore. Um, this is not a cure-all, but it is a subtle way to start rebuilding strength down in those long forgotten historical moments from childhood. It doesn't replace therapy. It doesn't replace self-recognition and self-awareness, um, which is what one learns when one goes to therapy, where your conscious mind starts learning how to manage 
yourself or observe yourself and then make decisions about that. Because if you don't learn how to do that, you will never notice the unconscious triggers and reflexes that are governing your state and your thinking, let alone your decisions and your directions in life and your achievements in life. What I'm talking about is accompanying that with a subtle, with a form of subtle healing in those subtle worlds where those matrices are that are still holding patterns of memory as well. So they, those patterns of memory in those energy matrices underpin uh, emotional feelings, underpin thought pathways. So yep, that it definitely helps with the changes. Just mentioning that because people don't quite understand how these spirit beings help us. And that's one really practical way that they help us. I've got so many different tools of working with these spirit beings and uh, inviting them to come in and make those gentle changes so that one feels happier, one feels more positive, one's thinking is more positive, so that you're living from a, a base of positivity and strength. Um, and you're welcome to visit me on my website, soulmentoring.com at any time and come into, I uh, deliver a lot of free training uh, at least once a month. I have a free lecture and a free training on international tele summits that you're more, more than welcome to come and join me on. Uh, and there's just a lot of free teaching as well. And of course, on YouTube here, you can just go right through all of the videos here on YouTube and learn so much about how to work with your spirit guides. The main point I'd like to make here today is that you're not alone and um, if you do want to bust out of a framework, out of a some kind of a context that you feel that you are held within and limited within, and you do want to envision yourself uh, in a higher achievement and feel your inner platform starting to shift and change and match how you are envisioning yourself, then I do recommend working with an experienced energy healer so that those beautiful healer spirit beings can flow into your matrices of light and repattern them and give you a deeper inner strength, a, a different sense of self so that you can envision yourself and feel yourself stepping into those higher achievements in your life. Thank you so much. My name's Alicia Power. Feel free to visit me at soulmentoring.com. Namaste. Namaste.